Welcome everybody, welcome to We Play On This Gaming. Today we're playing My Garage and we are doing some fixer uppers. So, um, yeah, I bought these over there. Um, this one I'm going to do a repaint. This one I'm going to fix this. Um, yeah, so I have redid my game because I just have frames frame per second issues or whatever, but I took the money cheat off. I took the backpack mod out. I took the fly mod out and there was another mod I took out. I can't remember, but I took all those out to make this as realistic as possible. There's no more flying. I can press control K or control X. There's nothing but being jumping. So, um, a little bit of what I've done. Uh, I do not have the warehouse no more. I have that sign changed. Um, we have a new sandblasting room. And then I've also brought this out here for engine rebuilding. So it's not cluttering up this in here. So this could be for working on vehicles and that's it. I was going to put the engine room in here, but it gets pretty cramped. So, yeah. Um, and then back here, I was going to do like a junkyard. But, sees how my game, I don't think my game's going to like it. But we can give it a shot. Like right now, it's not, the game's not liking everything that I've done. I don't know if V-Sync will help. It helps a little bit. So... That's the main thing. Just trying to keep my frames per second from dipping down. That's the hardest part I have. So, all right, let's get to this. Enough of chatting, enough of yakking. Um, I am going to use the house also. Uh, it's up there in the woods. Oh, that about blew my ear. That definitely about blew my ear drums off. So. Let's go. Now I think I'm going to put this one right here on this lift. So by the end of this video, I want to get this car stripped down with the front end off of it. And then we got to go to the junkyard and get parts for it. I could just buy the parts, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go go to the junkyard. It's cheaper. So there's that one. And then this one, we're going to try out the sandblaster. I want to see if it works. Uh, I messed around with it a little bit. And it didn't really seem like it took the stars off. So, or it didn't give me any more stars. So. But I want to try it out. I want to see if this, you know, if this is actually going to work. Nope. Yeah. So just trying it out, trying to be different is what I like to do all the time. So I got some sandbags here. I don't, I don't know. Let's see how far this reaches. Okay. So I can go around the whole vehicle. All right. Let's try it. What, how many what are the stars I'm at? Uh, I'm at three. Okay. Oop. I mean, if this works, man, this this will get rid of rust real fast. And then, like, the hard to get to spots is even better. It's just trying to find all of them. Let's see. Has it went up so far? No, it has not. Okay. I need some lighting in here. I guess what I'm going to do is every panel that has rust all on it, I'm going to do the whole panel. See if that helps. Oh, 
Oh, I ran out. No worries, I have more here. So, the cost of everything is, you know, it's all it's all there. I mean, we're going to have the cost of sand. I could take out all the mods, like grinding mod, all that. If you if you want it, you let me know. I mean, it's kind of it is kind of irritating to be grinding away and you're 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 just you're just digging and the disc flies apart or runs out. It it does get annoying. So Okay, so rust is going away. Now I just gotta find it all. Let's see. Press T, there we go. I can see Um I'm thinking it's going to be like here. Oh, there it is. Right there on the door. So what I'll do is I'll do the whole door. Okay, one down. Which I should take this door panel off and do it right, but I know in the back of my mind I can hit this door the way I'm doing it, and all the rust will fly off. So. Nope. Okay, what are we at rust wise? Four stars. Okay, so pull up the hood. I guarantee there's rust on this fender. Okay. What am I hitting? I don't know what I'm hitting. All right, I can fix that. So field of view. I'll go out a little bit. Seems like it's tighter over here. Couldn't tell you. But yeah, you guys remember, if you play this game, you understand the struggles of that that rocker panel right there, for instance. That is a pain in the ass, I'm telling you. Um, because you gotta like kinda look down in here and get it. Not anymore. We'll just we'll just spray it. Look at that hat so, jump. I don't know if this is out. I have no clue yet. I haven't looked. All I know is I'm on the tester or the my garage test. This is part of the game. So when it comes out, it's definitely a part of the game. So, okay. So there was rust here. So there's got to be more rust. Oh, the struggle is real. Uh, Do it again, exactly like you did the last time. So I hate this color. That's one thing I do hate. I hate the color of this car. Okay, we'll just, just hit a little bit more. I wish you could, like, sandblast these parts and make them brand new again. That'd be cool. Maybe date later down on the road. Uh, what's it doing? I'll try this pillar. Maybe. Oh, no. No fear, I got it. Maybe. Oh no. How far do you gotta go before this thing retracts? Or does it? Oh, that's a bunch of bull. How are you gonna fall through the map like that? 
That's not even cool. I have no no clip on, so I can't get it. Oh, that's a bitch. All right. Um, I can't even dump that out. I'm already trying to do the no mod. It just it's gonna take me a minute to get used to this stuff. Just bear with me. Um, you know, I mean, you use mods so much in the game, you don't realize. What all you actually use it, you know? You just get so used to using it, you're just clicking buttons and running with it. And But, I've thought about it. I sat here for a while while I was doing this, and I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to try to play this game how it's supposed to be played, but play it with my own twist. So, that's the plan anyways subject to change so all right so now we got backup so i have two of these hopefully if i save the game i'll go back doubt it um okay so did i get rid of the rust or not i did not where is it marco where you at where you at that's the old next tell tell you how old you are before not saying your age where you at okay all right, so I have no. Come on, get up here. There we go. I have no tools in here, so I can't take nothing off. Anywho, I'm not gonna waste the whole video on the car. I'll figure that thing off on off the video. Uh, all right, let's let's get to this. Um, shut my light off. Now I do have tools. I have these tool carts. Apparently they fixed them. I didn't know they. I never. Oh, maybe not. They were fixed. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so the disc falls off now. That's fabulous. Yeah. All right. So this one still wants to be. Okay, we're putting you on the bottom. There, see? They stay, no matter how much you wiggle them. Before, you'd wiggle them and they'd fall off. So that's why I never used them. So, now I can start using these. See, there's stuff I I never use on a daily. And I never knew they got fixed because I don't use them. All right, so I'm going to have to make a part parts pile. Um, you know what? Instead of moving this stuff twice or 500 times a day, let's just cram it in the car. Is it going to fit? Is going to stop wiggling? Okay. There we go. Uh, where are these bolts? So, we're going to use this car to scrap the parts. I do, I am, bleh. One of the things that I was trying to do is I was trying to build the K1500 truck. And it literally screwed my game up. So that's another reason why I'm doing what I'm doing with these, with the save. So I want to get one of those and I'm going to use that for a parts truck. What is going on with this lift? The car's too far backwards. That's... That's all I can come up with. So we'll just... Uh, inch her forward a little bit. That's probably too far. Spread that out. Spread that out. They did... And somebody did say that the, the lifts are messed up. I think you know I'm seeing I th I always thought it was just the modded cars but try it again um I'm thinking just that side I I mean I gotta replace this front section the radiator might still be good but all that has to go no okay what We'll just set that there. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. But it is driving me absolutely insane. Everything I click, it starts lifting up. See, there it goes again. So, I give him credit for trying to, to make the game better, but he's also breaking it in this same run, too, so. Every time a part comes off, yeah, that, that exhaust is completely 100% shot, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, see, I got, did I get the alternator? No. What? This is annoying. Every time I click something, I have to back off of it. Re-scroll in again. Where is that stupid feline? Okay, definitely need to get a workbench in here. I have one. I just haven't went and got it yet. Okay, so that's that. That. Okay. Now, I don't have an engine stand in here, so that's perfectly normal. Okay. Get the battery wires out of there. We'll let the car do what it ever wants to do here. So I got to get it up. I'm hoping the suspension's fine. I haven't really looked at this car. I just bought it and I said, yep, we're going to fix it. So I'm hoping it's fine, but I do know that I might not have to, but I know the front end has to come out regardless because I got to change this side and it is welded. So like I'm gonna need tie rod. Probably not gonna fix that. Okay, that's it for that. Now I gotta do the struts. Unbolt the strut. Okay. Now what you do? Oh, lost the wrench. Now what you do is you get up underneath here, going up. And we just cut. Where's that? Oh, boy. So that is stuck there. So I guess that's easier. You just... That's fine. Okay, now I gotta grab the spring remover tool. Get the spring out. And B, you gotta fix the lift, man. If you watch my videos, you gotta fix the lift. Okay, we'll just throw that right there. Alright, so I guess brake booster's fine. So we'll probably save on that. Uh, we'll probably take this headlight out. We'll save on that. Oops. Uh, I just want to make try to make this game easier for me to play it. So it's easier for me to keep up on these videos. Because lately it's been a struggle and a half. To stay up on the videos and trying to fix the game at the same time. It just... Oh, we're saving that. It just doesn't work. 
So yeah, it should be a bolt a screw there. Right, there's that. Okay, so now we gotta take off the brake booster, steering column, all that fun jazz, jazz stuff. But we're gonna take the door off so I can see the bolts. Might be able to get it. Got it. Okay, oh, there it is. Out the door. I might save on that. I. It might just have to be buffed out. I mean, it that will buff out, but. If not, we'll get a door for it too. So I know this firewall has to come out. The roof is bent here. Normally, if you bend the roof on a real car, um, the insurance company will total it. So if you didn't know that, now you do. I, I traded a moped back when I was younger. For a vehicle, but the guy, it was, the, the insurance company totaled it, but I bought, or actually, I traded the moped for that car. It was either, I paid $264 or I traded the moped. So, I wanted to keep my money, so I traded the moped. And they actually totaled that car out because it got broke into, they took the radio out and they slid it across the roof. So... They, they ended up totaling the car because it would have been more to paint the car, paint the roof and stuff. Oh, my lovely glove box. I love it. Oh. But yeah, they, they just totaled the car. So the deductible on the car was 264 bucks. Look, guys, it's a frog. Uh, I have no clue where that went. I don't even know where the dashboard went. Did anybody see it? Did it? Oh, there it is. Way over here. Okay, so the glove box automatically reinserted itself into the dashboard. That's perfect. Loving that. Less work I have to do, the better. Okay, so... You know, I could probably just remove the carpet. Okay, steering column has left chat and I forgot about the pedals all right this car is nice okay we're gonna reuse on those the brake pedal is a little crooked but it'd be just fine all right let's get that back over there okay so there's four we can get chopping away on this thing. Okay, we're just gonna whack the front end right off. We're not reusing that. You know, this car could stop moving at any time, would be fabulous. There goes that. Cool. Drop. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so probably. Wow. You gotta remove quite a bit. I, to be honest with you, I don't even think I've ever cut a wolf front end off. But we gotta cut this side off too, because I have to take the firewall off. So. Fender's coming with it. I'm not even taking the fender off. I'll just slap her back on and weld it. Work smarter, not harder. Okay, so this is garbage. Garbage. Right, there's that. Fender's got to get in there. That's got to get in there more. Because if I don't, I can't shut. Well, I just exited out of the window. All right. Stay. I said get in there. Don't work your freaking way out. Just, just stay. All right. Just... Oh, my God. Okay. 
So trailer probably easier, but this car don't haul a trailer very well. Okay, that I got um I guess that's part of the firewall. This thing is totally mangled. But I think I could save on that roof. Okay, so I'm gonna open the door. Oh, yeah, I gotta take the door off. That door has to come off, too. Okay, can I see the bolts? I cannot. Oh, yeah. Skills. Let's slap that right there. Slap that. Call me daddy. Um. There we go. Fly off there. Probably not because of the brake lines. Which I would replace those brake lines because I'm not that type of person. So we'll just we'll replace that brake line. It's not that much. We'll throw that in the car. Okay, so yeah, give me the front piece. Okay, so there's that. This. Okay, so I forgot what I was talking about. I got interrupted by my child. Okay, so there's that. Is that going to fit in there? Probably not. It's in there. It's in like Flynn. Okay, so the whole roof's probably going to have to come off. I don't know what I just chopped up in there. But whole roof's gotta come off. There's that. Oh, I didn't feel like dissecting the whole entire car. Could have just sledgehammered this out. Carpet does not come out. That's fine. I don't know what else is holding it. Rocker panels? Try the transmission. For some reason, uh, that would be, I would be irritated if it's the transmission, but you never know. Nope. Okay, so we got a half of a car. Grab this. Jump. Found it. I gotta take the e brake off there too. Okay, so there's that. Finally. Ten hours later. We're down to bare minimum. So now I have to repeat the process. The wafer. How's that come off? I don't know how that comes off there. Might be a part of I don't know. Okay, so that's going to be a couple trips. Unless I get a trailer, but yeah. All right. What do we got here? 30 minutes into the video. This thing probably still at 4 stars. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking about just calling this one good. For now, let's pull it out here. Let me look at it in the light. Could be behind the door. That dark green without any light is hard to see rust.
It's got to be on the door. So I'm going to have to rip the door panels off. So you let me know if you like this style, you know, you want me to go back to the old, the old ways or do you like the, I'm actually going through and doing all this stuff, you know, I, mean, I kind of got away from all of it because I, there it is right there. I got away from all that because I was just trying to speed up the videos instead of editing it out, you know, I just sped myself up. Come on. I was going to say, you better not fall into the map. All right, let's see how far I can go before I lose this. Yep. Why won't that go back on there? That's not even fair. I know I put it built. I can speak. I know I built the building, but I can't really see in it, so. The rest gone now. Oh. So I guess... The sandblaster isn't the greatest, but I mean, for hard to reach spots, it is. Because I remember the bottom of these doors, they suck. I have hit every... Almost every square inch of these doors. Still nothing. I'm definitely confused. That's the only other thing left to do is spray the whole entire door. So. So I'm not really seeing it. I don't really exactly know. I kind of have an idea where it's at. I think it's in this rocker panel. I mean, I guess I could try cutting it off real quick and see. I, I'm not sure. I'm It's driving me crazy. I, I knew that this one would probably be a pain because it is a lad. In lads are a pain. I'm not seeing it. Uh, I'm totally confused. So. Oh, I guess we're just going to have to do a, a four star. I, guess. I don't know. I don't know where the other rough spot is. I mean, I seen some on the cowl. I hit that. That's the only bad thing about, like, cars from the Rust Belt. I mean, the rust is everywhere. But I'm not... There was rust here. There was a little piece of rust there. I mean, I'm not really doing it in the best quality of light. So the sandblaster does, I mean, the grinder 
you hit the spot and then it all disappears. But the sandblaster doesn't do that. So I'm wondering if that's my case. Let's see. Let's grab a grinder. Let's just hit it. Still the same. Still the same outcome. I don't know. If I missed it, you let me know, but I don't think... Well, I'm just like stuck here. Unless it's that spot there, but all I know is I'm out of sand. I know that. I'm lost, guys. I am completely 100%. I'm not seeing it. All right. So this one's going to have to be, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Because I don't see it, and I don't feel like spending that much time on it. I mean, whatever I make off it, I make, I make more money, but... I guess at this point, I'm going to call it good enough. And we'll get it painted up and flip it. I mean, it's just it's just a fixer flipper. I mean, it's nothing spectacular. I do got to get the welder out. Grab the welder real quick and then... That rocker panel on and we get this painted up and be done with it I wasn't expecting to have to go full send on this thing but okay So, anywho, the plan of the whole doing the videos, because I could sit here, I could build cars all day long, but in, in the long run, you can only build so many cars. So if I do this and I make money doing this, it gives you guys more content to watch, and it also, I'm not just doing a whole bunch of videos, so... Doing videos is the same thing. I want to do videos of doing this, building my money up, getting a car, tearing it down, and then, you know, start doing that. That's what I want to start doing. And just go farther in depth. You guys see what I'm doing. If you have any questions, just comment on the video. If you've seen something you want to know more about, you let me know, and we'll go from there. But, um, 
I got to get this color code real quick. Yay, I had it. But I don't have any... I have the paint cans, but I haven't got them back over here yet, so... Okay, buy paint. Let's see. Why did it close out? Okay. Come on. All right. I'm cooking with something here. Um, we have a zero seven G five zero A. If you guys like that color green, there's a paint code for it. Got the gun. Now I don't remember what I paid for this car. I couldn't tell you. I wasn't really paying attention when I bought it. I just like, oh, this one's got rust. Cha ching. So. Maybe the rust might show itself while I'm painting it. I doubt it. It is what it is. We'll spray the whole car so it matches. You know, some people, they're like, oh, it's just wasting paint. Well, it's a video game. Plus, if I hit somewhere where I shouldn't have hit, then I'll get it. Get down here. Oh, I got that. Okay. I don't know about inside the doors. The paint gun does paint pretty good. Through the car, I should say. Alright, let's see. Yeah, not having that rust off there. Like I said, it is what it is. Make Sometimes you make money, sometimes you lose money, but I think I made somewhat on that. If I didn't, oh well, I'll make my money back on this. So, the next video will go to Junkyard. We'll get the parts for this. I got to make a list so when I go to Junkyard, I know what I'm getting. But, well, I'll just go get the parts. I got to get a trailer. And hopefully that car will pull it. I don't know. That's still up in the air. I need to get a... I might pull a forward out of the garage and see... See if they even did anything, if they fixed it or not. I don't know. It, if it pulls a trailer, it's fine. But if it doesn't, then I don't know what else I'm going to do. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.